Welcome aboard the Dawson Ozzy. Today, your conductors are going to be Defonta and me, Nova. And we're back to GU! Yay! Only really getting back at more of those key quests. Those painful, painful story progress necessary things. Anyways. Last time I was in uh, full Ergon armor, now I'm in full uh, uh, G rank Mafesio armor. This look really cool. It was a pain. Uh, so, what are our key quests for G2? Oh. You see them. I forgot which ones we've already done. Uh, Did the Rathian, right? Yes, Queen of the Ruined Pinnacle. Yes. I don't think we've done any of these other ones. Yeah, I don't there's... think so either. Okay, yeah, so there's Shadows of the Desert Lake with the Plesioff. Uh... A mushroom to swing a Kongolala with the Kongolala. Eating time, a Nursilla. Next stage of Evolve Evolution. Ha 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 ha. Evolve it on a Great Macau. Snow Rock, a Viserios. Just pick your poison. Uh, These let's... monsters are like slightly annoying, but not too bad. Uh, let's get Plethios out of the way. Yeah. Weird. Always rather get the annoying monster out first. I'm bringing some uh, life powder, or no, not life powder, just the life. And who's more? Who could possibly be more annoying than Plesioff? Well, Kezu for starters. Yeah, but we're picking our poison, and our poison is this. We need to bring frogs again. Just bring one. Because you pretty much only you need it to fish out the monster at first, if we can actually do it. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm going to be rusty yet again, because I was playing more Rise again. <laughs> That's what you get for playing the superior game. <laughs> it's not my fault that Sunbreak comes out later. Like a month now, isn't it? at the end of this month. Dang. Anyways, let's head out! Get yeah. this fishy bastard. Who says tizzy anymore? We spawn together. Is this the hidden area? Because I got to be an explorer. It is. Just not realizing we're finding a police off out here. The actual fuck. Why is the place out in the desert? Yeah, you got me. I have no idea. They're up. Uh, which area? Area six? Area one? I I don't actually know. I this is one of the places that was like back in Generations Ultimate. I never memorized the layout of it. Move to another area. Okay, let's see. Area six. Oh, is recovering go, a bit. Go. Is recovering a bit of Santa. Ah, these underwater caves. Hmm. Okay, I can fish him out from here. At some point, I should really bring Sonic Bombs, but like, eh. Bastard. I've got a frog here. Tasty, tasty frog. No, you want it. Want the frog. Get the frog. Okay, got damn it. Got 
Got a great sword here. Tasty great sword. Gonna get it. Asshole. Or fuck. God damn it. Ow. Tasty, tasty large blade of. I was gonna say what it's made of, but I don't want to spoil it. No matter what tasty. rank, he's uh, just so annoying. Oh. The metal and god parts, kind of. Or it looks like it. Die. Ow. I'm trying to get its breakable parts is annoying. Just because it's. You can only attack its legs, basically. Say as I hit the head. This is why nobody likes you, please see off. Like, why did a, a, a cool... I will... I do like his color scheme, but I just will say, like, why is he such an annoying fight? Great question. Genuinely. Well, besides everything. Literally yeah. just fight him for 30 seconds and you'll find out why he's annoying. Just had to make him so damn big. even cool. It's just a goddamn fish head on a dragon with fins. Like, the, I know he's a Gen 1 monster, but still, like, they could have done something with him. They could have not brought him back. Good God. He's I, been in nearly every game. I kind of want to try him in the, the third generation, because I feel like it would be easier with walkthrough combat. No. No? You shut the fuck up. No, it is not. <laughs> as much as I love water combat and the idea of it, it was bad. It was so slow. I had to play hammer with underwater just because there was one attack that makes you dash forward. So of course, trying to swim around, cheat your weapon, slowly swim forward just to attack the monster that keeps moving because everything else is super mobile because they're made for water, it was painful. Ah, gotcha. He hit me out of my hunter art. I'm just saying, there's a definitive reason monster underwater combat was removed. It's just way too slow. And fighting this motherfucker in it was so much worse. And he's literally made for the water. He moves in it much better. I'm so grateful I didn't get hip check right there. Uh... Redeeming things about underwater combat, you get to see monsters like Lagiacris and Royal Ludroth in their element. Actually, really good. Lagiacris was awesome to fight underwater, made out to be this big, terrifying beast. Then they brought him to land in generations, and he was just. Not good? So much. Yeah. Like everything that had been redeeming about him was just nearly taken out. Give him a few new ground attacks, but like, it wasn't the same. Oh, he... To the point where he almost just looks out of place being on land. I stand, I keep going down. Water blight? So much faster than usual. Oh, it's cold here. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Cold in this cave, that's why my stamina goes down so much faster. Yeah. I've been playing this for years and just now learned that. And I mean, like, making my bar deplete faster, actually. There he goes. Didn't paintball him, god damn it. 
so focused on hating Plesioth. The cool thing about underwater combat, the underwater exclusive monster that was the endgame boss, the Cedius. They did bring back its armor in 4 Ultimate and this game too. You just had to get it in a special way. Because it was really cool looking. Hmm. It's a monster that we'll never see again just because they, they're not going to bring back Underwater combat. Their water combat. I feel like they Sweet. could, but like it, they definitely need to improve the game. Yeah. And that reminds me, there was he, he was like the main story boss of Three Ultimate, but there was a secret end game boss called the Dire Morales. Other giant monster fight, but instead of doing a whole siege thing, it's just you, it, and the water. Honestly, Since that a, sounds so cool. It's a volcanic monster, like it stays in the water most of the time just to cool itself down. I definitely suggest looking it up. I think I've seen uh, it, but like it's different from seeing it in a picture and seeing it in uh, actual gameplay. Yeah, I never got to fight it in the game, I only knew about it. And I don't really plan on going back. Because it was just like the end of all the online stuff, so I'd have to trust through that. I mean, if you want to take up your own 3DS. Speaking of a 3DS isn't the problem. Going back to that game with so fewer slice of life improvements. Yeah. Don't talk about my corpse. <laughs> <sighs> don't be, don't be a corpse then. That's on you. In G rank armor, it sells the same DS. Even when you knock this bastard down, he just flops around like a magic carp. Even then, the magic carp is appealing. It's derpy. Yeah. That's its own appeal. You see off is just ugly. Well being blasted away by my own cat. Nice. After playing some of the other games and uh, playing Rise again, I don't agree with uh, them taking out Hot and Cold. Like, right, I forgot they took those out. Like, I genuinely like Hot and Cold drinks uh, because, like, it makes you really prep for the area. Right. I'm sure, it's technically an improvement that makes it easier, but it just takes out the realism of it. Yeah. And, like, there's no real, real lore reason for why you, you don't have it. Sorry. Blast me into the air. That was pretty good. It's time. I'm trying not to blast you too much, but it's limping great. Kill it. Kill it. Damn it. You're just running. But at least we know. At least you have a paintball. Going to area six. Six again. And if we wanted to ambush this thing in its sleep, it's one of those monsters that sleeps, sleeps on the offshore section. In the water. Yeah, I can. Screw it, I'll try and lure it out with the frog, see if that works. I mean, I highly doubt it, but... Come uh, on, now you wake up. Frog. There's a frog here. Eat the yummy frog. Come on, you know you want it. God damn it. 
If I would have known that we could have woken it up just by going near it, I wouldn't have. Oh, got him out. Nice. And stay down, you motherfucker. years of experience, I'm still not even sure if you can cut this thing's tail off. I feel like you can, but like, it... We don't have to. Yeah. Just saw a big blast from what looked like Isaac Newton's direction, and that was it. Well, I mean, I can always just look up if you can cut its tail. But where's the fun in that? Yeah. To be fair, where's the fun in this fight in fighting this monster? I'm just remembering to take out uh take screenshots for uh Dongo. You cannot looks... cut Plesioth's tail. You cannot? Wow. And that, and that has spoken. Yeah, the end screen uh, is definitely not a good... Uh... It's a pretty good shot of the monster itself. Yeah, but like... I'm just like in this weird... <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, a weird little pose. I'll have to send you a picture later. So it's like I'm dancing. I'm falling face first into the ground while the monster is on top of me. It's actually pretty perfect, though. Yeah, it represents this fight. <laughs> it's pain in the ass of a monster. Okay, what's the next pain in the ass?